All right, today I have with me the latest Panic Raid, and I'll be unboxing it and reviewing it. The one in this video is the Discover With Me box. It does say for 18 to 24 months. So as usual, it's a pretty large range. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see what's inside here. My son is currently 18 months old, so that means that he's actually on the younger side of the age range of this box. So hopefully it's not too complicated for him and he's able to play with the stuff right now. All right, let's go ahead and see. Okay, first off, it's nothing out of the ordinary. Um, this is the Wonder Magazine. This one, Discover With Me, and it's about cause and effect, benefits of repetitive play and building persistence. So this book is definitely a great read. Um, I would definitely suggest you read this and not just put it on the side. Okay, and these are the cards telling you how to play with everything that's included in this box. Let's go ahead and line them up on the side so I know exactly what to call everything. And also this is another brief summary of all the items included on the back here. All right, um, before I get into the items, every box come with these. These are beyond the crate cards. So they're ways for you to play with your child. Um, they give you, well, suggest ways you can play with your child with stuff outside of this crate. Okay, first up here I have a bag and this is the hide and seek mat. So it looks like we can open it up right here. Let's take a look. Nice little man. Looks like you can hide stuff in it, cover it up. Looks pretty neat. I will definitely read up on this and see how to properly play with it with my son. All right, moving on to the next item. All right, so the next item is gonna be the peekaboo base. So I've noticed that KiwiCo actually tends to like using these little legs to hold it up, which seems to work decently well. I haven't had too much trouble. Um, works very well on a flat surface like this. Um, however, if it's on carpet, it is a little bit more um, flimsy, but I haven't had too much trouble of holding it up with my carpet. All right, sorry about that. I had a little technical difficulty. The top overhead camera ran out of battery, so I had to change it out real quick. But anyways, we're right back to this now. All right, so these are the items that actually go into here. Um, it looks like you just kind of place them in here and yep, there is no spring or anything. So at first when I looked at it, I thought it was kind of like the little pop-up game. Oh, maybe it is a little pop-up. So there is a slight spring, but it pops up the one next to it. Okay, so it's kind of like a little uh, seesaw type steel where you hit one, the other one pops up. Interesting, we'll see how my son likes this. Okay, next, um, this is the book. This one's called Where's Poppy? Looks like another fun book for my son to read. He really does enjoy books right now. Next item is the pop-up roller. So it looks like whenever it rolls, different things pop up. So let's take a look at, maybe you can see better this one. Okay. And the next one is called Animal Matchup. So it looks like there's little cards in here. If I can get it open without breaking it, that is. Oh, pretty tight up in there. Okay, there is these little cards here that you can match the little one to the big one. Yes, yep, the baby to the mother. This is cute, looks fun. Okay, so this here actually goes with the hide and seek mat over here. Yeah, so this is what you use these four animals here to play hide and seek with the mat. First, I was wondering what we we're gonna put in here, but yeah, so these are the ones you use to play hide and seek with. Um, this looks like just a little bag for you to hold, um, I assume maybe the animals or whatever you want in this box. It looks like it fits a lot of things in here. Yeah, so this bag looks like it actually does fit quite a bit of things. So, um, yeah. All 
All right, so that's all the items that are inside this cubicle box, um, which is actually kind of exciting because most of the items are actually made of wood. So that's my first impression is that um, overall, I think it seems pretty good right now. Um, but yes, now I'm gonna go in and do some research in Amazon as well as let my son play with the toys to see how good they are. So I've had a chance to both let my son play with the toys as well as research to find alternatives on Amazon to see if this box is worth it. The first toy is the hide and seek mat, which is meant to expand your child's symbolic thinking skills. In other words, it helps improve their ability to think about objects and events that are not within the immediate environment. As a reminder, this box is meant for 18 to 24 months, and my son is almost 19 months now, so he's on the younger side of it. There are three different hiding spots as well as animals to hide with this toy. The quality of them are great, but right now my son really doesn't quite grasp the concept of unfastening the button. He really only pays attention to the hiding spot with the windows. The other two hiding spots, you can get the wooden animals without actually opening the flap. I found something similar on Amazon for $15.34. It's not a soft mat, but a wooden board with a similar concept of hiding things behind doors. The next two toys are meant to be used together, the peekaboo base and the animal puzzles. The peekaboo base is for encouraging repetitive play, which is a toddler's way of experimenting and learning new concepts. Of course, inserting the puzzle pieces themselves requires fine motor skills. It's a fairly simple toy where after the puzzles are inserted into the base, if you press down on one puzzle, another puzzle pops up. It's a very interesting concept that I couldn't find anything exactly the same, but it does remind me of the classic pop-up toy. It costs $17.99 on Amazon and has a similar idea of having to insert pieces and press down on them to pop up. Except this one, the pieces that gets pressed down is the same one that pops up. The animal puzzles can be used either with the peekaboo base or by themselves. One side of the puzzle is an animal along with a number. The other side is a picture puzzle. Both of these tasks is definitely too advanced for my 19 month old son right now. I didn't find an alternative for this puzzle on Amazon because the item that I found on Amazon as an alternative for the next toy, the animal matchup, actually covers both the puzzle concept as well as the matchup concept. This toddler puzzle goes for $20.99. There are a few different types of puzzles here for matching parts of the body, opposites, and like the KiwiCo matchup toy, matching the adult animal to the baby animal. Currently, my son is really into animals, so these cards are great for him to look at. Another nice little touch is that the animal puzzle can actually be used as an extension of the matchup cards. They use the same color scheme for the four animals. The Where's Poppy book is about Poppy the panda playing hide and seek with her friend Hugo the hippo. It's not really a hide and seek book where you try to locate Poppy on each page, but more of just Hugo looking at different locations and finding other animals. So I think it's really closer to an animal book of learning animals. A pretty decent book that I found on Amazon goes for $5.99. The great thing about this book is that they actually use real pictures of animals. The last item in this box is called the pop-up roller. It has a similar name to the pop-up toy from Amazon, but it's a fairly different concept. This toy is supposed to help your little one develop an understanding of cause and effect. It's a very simple toy where if they rotate the toy, one of the tabs drops and another one appears on the bottom. While cause and effect is a complicated concept, I think this toy is a bit too simple for 18 to 24 months. It's not challenging enough, which means that many toddlers at this age range won't find this toy interesting. My son barely shows any interest at all in this toy. While the build quality of the toy is great, this probably should have been included in an earlier box for a younger child. The alternative I found on Amazon goes for $15 and has a near identical concept. And that listing says early learning baby toy. And I looked at a few reviews and they're all good, but they also seem to mention an age range of eight to 11 month olds. If you add up the pieces of all the alternatives I found on Amazon to recreate this box, it will cost $75.31, which is about 1.9 times the cost of this panda crate. Definitely one of the higher value KiwiCo crates I've received so far. Well worth the cost. All the toys in this box seem to be made very well. It's a huge plus that there are no plastic toys. Even the cardboard of the matchup cards have a nice thickness to it, so it'll be a bit harder for toddlers to destroy. Besides for the hiccup of the pop-up roller toy, all the other toys in this box have been very fun for my son to play with. As you may or may not know, KiwiCo Panda Crates don't ship out in a set order. It also varies depending when you started your subscription as they ship out every other month. Usually each box has a range of six to 12 months, which means your little one might not receive this box at 18 months like mine did. You won't be able to do too much research ahead of time to find out which box you're getting next, but at least they do tell you which box you're gonna get once it's ready to ship. 
At that time, you can go check out my KiwiCo playlist to see if I've received that box before to take a sneak peek at what your little one will be getting in the mail soon. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next KiwiCo Panda Crate unboxing and review. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time.